Paracetamol overdose is common and may occur accidentally or in the context of self-harm. Significant overdose can result in if not promptly treated with the antidote. How does paracetamol harm you? Paracetamol is usually taken by mouth and is available in various ways, such as in tablet, caplet, soluble and liquid forms. They will pass to the stomach and intestine into the body and lead to pain relief and lowering of a high temperature, fever. After this, paracetamol is inactivated before being removed from the body. About 20% of the medicine is processed in the intestinal wall and the remainder in the liver. As a result, a small amount of a toxic compound, n acetylpibenzoquinonimine or NAPKI, is formed in the liver, but is quickly detoxified by a substance called glutathione. However, in overdose, the stores of glutathione can be depleted so that there isn't enough to remove the increased amounts of NAPKI. The NAPKI can then build up and damage the liver. Paracetamol is the most common medicine taken in overdose. It can lead to liver failure in a number of days, despite using medication to protect the liver. Liver failure can be fatal. Over 150 people die each year as a result of a paracetamol overdose. Why would someone take an overdose? There are many reasons for someone to take an overdose. This could be to end one's life or to cause serious self-harm. An overdose can also be taken accidentally, for example, toddlers and people with poor eyesight. In some, the act of taking an overdose is a spur-of-the-moment thing, whilst in others it can be pre-planned. Those who have pre-planned may have stockpiled medication, sorted out their affairs, such as writing a will, and also written a suicide note. Some people take higher than recommended doses of paracetamol for pain over several days. They may not intend to kill themselves, and occasionally may not even realize they are harming themselves until they begin to feel unwell. Some people are at increased risk of liver damage from paracetamol. This includes those on certain medications, such as rifampicin, phenobarbital, phenytoin, carbamazepine and alcohol. Those who are malnourished, for example, through chronic illness or eating disorders. Those with alcohol-related liver disease. What are the symptoms of paracetamol overdose? There may be no symptoms for the first day. A feeling of sickness, nausea, and being sick, vomiting, may occur a few hours after taking the overdose. After 24 hours there may be pain under the ribs on the right side, where the liver is, and there may be yellowing of the whites of the eyes and the skin, jaundice. Other features include, the brain can also be affected with confusion and disorientation, called encephalopathy. The kidneys can also be affected with a reduction in urine, and kidney failure can occur. Low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, may occur. There may be a buildup of acid in the blood, which can cause the patient to breathe faster. There may also be features of depression, but not always. Sometimes it is carers who will discover that someone has taken an overdose. They may find empty packets or a suicide note. It is important to bring the empty packets and notes with you to the hospital. How is paracetamol overdose treated? Immediate management will require resuscitation and stabilization. If the patient is unstable, such as having low blood pressure or there is overwhelming liver failure, they will need to be treated on an intensive care unit. The paracetamol levels will be sent off and once the result is back this is compared with a standard graft patients who are above a certain line will need treatment. Those below the line may not require treatment. 
treatment is with intravenous N-acetylcysteine, NAC, and is given to all who have high paracetamol level. If there is any doubt about the time of the overdose or there has been a staggered overdose, intravenous NAC is started without delay. All patients will need to be seen by the psychiatric team before discharge. The main complication following a paracetamol overdose is liver failure. The patient may need to be referred to the specialist liver unit if the bloods confirm liver failure. Other features which will help the healthcare professionals to decide if the patient needs to go to a specialist unit include involvement of the brain, abnormal clotting, kidney impairment, low blood pressure, hypotension, low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, and high blood acid levels. Urgent liver transplantation is the only treatment when overwhelming, irreversible liver failure occurs. 